Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. Uh, TJ here. Um, so for today's class, you will just need a mat, and that's pretty much it. All right, so just starting off, we're going to be face down, and we're going to do a Superman. So it's where we're lying, lying face down, and either hands just straight ahead up in front, um, or overhead, otherwise off to the side. So we're just going to lift just the upper half, not the lower. And so just squeezing through our glutes, feeling it through our low back. I'm going to make this one a little more interesting when we when we do other rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so I want you to flip it over now onto your back. And we are going to do a crunch with our feet together, knees together, hands behind your head, keeping your chin off of your chest. Ready, go. So nothing too terribly complicated by any means. Again, just the legs are straight, feet together, so that the, the feet are always touching, so that way you feel below the belt. Keeping your chin off of your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're going to now flip it back over again. Lots of flipping. All right, so now with that interesting Superman exercise. So you can have your hands behind your head if you feel like it's just easier than your hands being out in front of you. So I want you to come up and I want you to bring. So left arm is gonna kind of come towards the left side back to the center, back down, back up. Right hand is going to move towards that right side, bring it back to center, back down. Again, left towards the left side. Otherwise, you could just have your hands behind your head if you choose. And just going kind of left side to left side, or left elbow to left side, right elbow to right side. However you want to do it, whichever one's easiest for you. Three, two, one. All right, flip it over again. All right, so back to the leg extended. If you want to make it a little more challenging, take your right heel and press it into your left toe so that that right heel is going to elevate off the ground just a little bit, pressing it into the left toe and crunch up. Ready, go. So again, keeping the chin off of the chest. That slight elevation of the right foot is only an option if you are looking to seek a challenge. So the shoulder blades are just barely, barely coming off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, nice job. So we're just gonna do one more of each. I'm just going to shift my mat so that way I have more room for my right side. All right, so remember a review with the Superman overhead. Again, the left hand coming towards the left side, right hand coming towards the right side. Otherwise, hands behind your head. Ready, go. So squeezing, feeling it through the low back, squeezing through the glutes. Nice job. You got this. Keep going. Just 
get a couple more, couple more reps for each side. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Flipping it back over again. And now this time, if you did the right foot elevated off the floor, it's now going to be the left foot elevated off the floor and press into the right toe, right? So hands on your head, chin off of your chest. Ready, go. So breathing out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. If it's too much, just make sure you're breathing. Just focus on making sure that we are doing the exercise correctly. They're good form, feeling it within the core, especially the lower part. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. So feet down on the ground, hands overhead, just feeling that stretch through our core. If it helps, you can point your toes away from your body. Nice job. All right, so we're now going to go with feet bent or feet flat on the floor with our legs bent. All right, so we're going to do a penguin. So it's this kind of side to side motion. So the shoulders are just elevated off the ground a little bit and hands are going to be down by our ankles and we're moving side to side. If you need to use a hand to brace your head for any reason, just pick an arm and just go side to side. All right, ready, go. So side to side, feeling it within the obliques or those muscles on the side of our stomach. Nice job. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So that side to side motion, very similar to the Superman that we just did where we were face down. All right. Okay, so now the next one that we're going to do is we're going to go feet up at 90 degrees, chin off of our chest, and we're going to do that crunch, all right, just with feet up. Ready? Go. So holding the legs at 90 degrees, making sure our hands are supporting our head and our neck. Feeling this now in the upper part of our core or the upper abdomen. Making sure we are not pulling on our neck or our head. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so feet down onto the floor. We're going to move back to that penguin or that kind of side to side motion that we were just doing. Again, if you need a hand to support your head, just pick a hand. Ready? Go. Nice job, everyone. Keep it up. Keeping that core engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Lying yourself back down onto the floor. We're now going to go to feet up at 90 degrees. If you want to make it a little more interesting, you can have your feet up, straight up in the air, and doing that same sort of crunch. Just makes it a little more challenging. Totally up to you. Ready? Go.
So same idea, idea of um, supporting the head, supporting the neck, making sure that the shoulder blades just barely come up off the floor or the shoulders themselves. Nice job. Keep it up. So we're gonna do one more round for each and then we're gonna move on. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So again, just lie back, just kind of rest for a moment. So we're gonna do one last one of the penguin or that kind of side to side motion. All right, get ready. So again, use the hands to support your head if needed. Ready? Go. Excellent job. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so one last one of either feet at 90 degrees or legs kind of as straight as you could get them and just doing a crunch that way. Ready? Go. Great job. Again, the breathing aspect. Technically, you would breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down or returning to a starting position you would breathe in. Again, feeling that in the upper part of your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Legs extended, hands overhead, just feeling that stretch. All right, so we're gonna flip it back over. And this time we're going to do our pillar bridge or our plank. And so you could be on your hands or your, your elbows if you so choose. I will just slightly turn your way so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so just a regular, regular pillar bridge. Ready, up. So keeping shoulder, hip, to either knees, if your knees are on the ground, or if you're on your feet, keeping that belly button drawn in towards the spine. My hands are directly underneath my shoulders. Keeping that core engaged. Five, four, three, two, one, down. And I want you to child's pose for me. So sitting back onto your heels. The next pillar bridge that we're going to do, I'm going to add an element and it's an optional element and it's totally up to you. All right, you can do it on your knees or your feet, but it's going to come down to the elbows and then back up onto the hands, all right? Down onto the elbow. Back up to the hand, ready, go. So up, up, down, down. Keep going. Again, on your knees, more doable. If it's too much, just continue to hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose again. Nice. So we're going to do, go one more round. Ready? Last time. Really try to do that challenge if you can. Ready? Go. So core engaged. When I come up on my hands, my hands are directly underneath my shoulders. 
when I come down my elbows, elbows are directly underneath my shoulders. Again, if it's too much, you can hold it. If you need to, you can come down your knees. If it starts to bother your low back, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Pillar, or, um, sorry, child's pose. Sitting back onto your heels. Hands are reached out in front of you. Feeling that stretch through your low back. I want you to now put your right hand on top of your left. Still in a child's pose position. And now I want you to put your left hand on top of your right. And now I want you to return both hands back to where they're overhead. Both are flat on the ground. Nice job. Now, as you come up, I want you to arch your back, kind of like our cat, our cat cow, and then push your spine down, and then push your uh, spine back up like a cat. One last time, like a cat. Okay. All right. So we have a new program that's actually going to be starting here in a couple of weeks called Race at Your Pace, all right? So that is a 30-day uh, program where you just pretty much pick whatever movement um, kind of mileage goal. So whether it's 26, 50, or 100, um, but it's over the course of 30 days. More interest, if you're interested, check your email. That email just went out this morning, all right? Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow, all right? Bye, everyone.